Hey, welcome to Broken World Entertainment. And guess who's trying to stay relevant in the world of entertainment, I suppose? The one and only Frost. <laughs> and it's backfired spectacularly on her. So, former G4 host Frost disingenuously attempts to frame actor Henry Cavill as problematic. And she didn't just stop with him either. Let's get into this, shall we? So, in an attempt, or in an apparent bid to retain her relevance following the collapse of G4's recent revival attempt, former network host Indiana Frost Black has attempted and failed to frame former Netflix The Witcher star Henry Cavill as problematic. After three seasons of watching Netflix butcher author, and yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to say the author's name, uh, the, the writer of the Witcher books, Cavill announced his exit from the streaming giant's live action adaptation of The Witcher on October 29th. Taking to his personal Instagram account, the Superman actor informed fans that my journey as Geralt of Rivia has been filled with with both monsters and adventure. And alas, I will be laying down my medallion and my sword for season four. And of course we know who is taking over. Liam Hemsworth. So while many met this news with a mixture of emotions ranging from regret towards the wasted potential of his casting to relief that the actor no longer had to work with such crap material, Frost saw an opportunity to virtual signal. Oh yes, yeah, she did. And she tweeted out, Henry Cavill said some very questionable things around Me Too and dated a 19-year-old as 30+. plus. Seeing people throw themselves at his feet for the Witcher is weird. This show is whatever at best. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> now, the questionable stuff regarding the Me Too stuff, we get into that. So, Frost mentioned Cavill's questionable hashtag Me Too comments is a reference to an interview the actor gave GQ Australia in 2018. Asked by the publication for his thoughts on the movement, Cavill asserted, Stuff has to change, obviously, before briefly pausing and subsequently adding, but there's something wonderful about a man chasing a woman. I think a woman should be wooed and chased, but maybe I'm old-fashioned for thinking that. He continued, it's very difficult to do that if there are certain rules in place because then it's like, well, I don't want to go up and talk to her because I'm going to be called a rapist or something. Now, <laughs> he po now you really can't uh, pressure someone further than no. It's like, okay, cool. But then there's the, oh, why do you give up? And it's like, well, because I didn't want to go to jail. He basically said he's afraid and nervous to go up to women in bars and talk to them because he's famous. He feels that they could end up saying shit. Just look at Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. That's what he was saying. He's ain't like, because of me too. The rules have changed. You can't just go up to them anymore and start having a conversation. Because you'll be branded misogynistic and a threat and all this type of crap. So that's what he was talking about. Not problematic at all. <laughs> Bloody true. Meanwhile, her mention of him having dated a 19-year-old refers to Cavill's ex-girlfriend, Tara King, a British woman with whom he shared a brief relationship with in 2015-2016. While Frost undoubtedly 
expected her tweet to earn her the praise and adulation of her more gender and identity, identity politics obsessed peers. It was instead met with disagreement from nearly everyone who read it, including her own fans and supporters. So he was in a consensual adult relationship. One of them wrote and then added horrifying. And it just continued. Weird. Uh, she replied to this. Weird way to out yourself. LOL. As someone who is 31. I can't imagine ever dating a teenager. We are in vastly different life stages. So while it it's maybe legal. It's maybe legal. Jesus Christ. Most of these relationships are pretty icky. With power imbalances. <laughs> Whatever, Frosk. He's just jealous. He goes, you can't date a 19 year old. So people just fired back at her. But she even called out Gina Carano. Um, does she have that tweet up here? Yeah. She put in. It is big yikes energy. I just discovered he also dated her. And she's got not just a picture of Gina Carano. But she has Gina Carano's article of the Mandalorian star Gina Carano fired amid social media controversy. You know, the firing of the so-called anti-Semitic messaging she put up that wasn't anti-Semitic at all was completely true to what she was talking about and she was actually fired because she was refusing to put pronouns in her bio so frost has tried to get all this going and it's backfired she is getting ratioed to oblivion so this guy jay grandall replied again to her saying i'm not saying there isn't issues with the age gaps I'm 31 and also would not date a 19 year old. But there can be issues in relationships. Far worse. Even if the age is equal. There can be loving relationships. With age gaps. I just thought it was weird to jump on. With no evidence. And then she retweets him. Here are his comments. Which, which was his apology about. He apologised for saying the, uh, he's afraid to go up to women in bars. But that's all he apologised. And he shouldn't have apologised because he wasn't wrong. But she just went on and on and on. and She's just getting destroyed online over it. Because she is one of the most disgusting, hateful human beings to ever walk God's green earth. She truly is. She is pure poison and the sooner she fucks off somewhere else the better <laughs> can someone just take her off twitter Elon Musk come on do your thing anyway I'll leave it there for this one cheers catch you in the next one